Uh, recently, the Pokemon Trading Card Company has put out a pair of new League Battle decks. Now, not these ones, not these ones. I don't have these decks yet, but one of them in the past, they've released League Battle decks for Inteleon and Zacian. And these are both great jumping on points if you're looking to play the trading card game seriously. And they put out a pair of decks, this Single Strike Urshifu, which we covered on the last stream. And this time, we're going to talk about the Rapid Strike Urshifu League Battle Deck. I don't actually have the deck. I do have all the cards online. So uh, we are going to be playing with the, the League Battle Deck as is, the way you get it. And then we'll talk about ways of upgrading it. And I'll play some matches with upgraded versions of this deck as well. So let's start with Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, the star of the League Battle Deck. And it's got two attacks. One, Gale Thrust for one fighting energy. It does 30 damage. Plus, if you move to the active during that turn, it actually does an extra 120 damage. So 150 damage for one energy. Fantastic. And there are ways of moving Urshifu VMAX in and out of the active to make that move a little more realistic to use in a fight. And then for three energy, G Max Rapid Flow, which lets you do 120 damage to two Pokemon, like on the active or the bench, uh, which can be very powerful, particularly early on. You can use it to snipe two support Pokemon very early, and then all of a sudden your opponent can't set up properly, and the game is done. And there's other lots of great uses for this move as well, with the trade off being that you have to discard all your energy once you use it. So there's only a certain number of times you can do this move, particularly if you're using Rapid Strike Energy, which you do get four copies of in the League Battle deck, which is key because this actually counts as two energy, two water energy or two fighting energy, which lets you accelerate that move even faster. And, you know, if you're able to hit this move back to back, ooh, brutal. But once this is discarded, you can't get it back. So if you're going to use G-Max Rapid Flow, you've really got to make sure you're hitting the right target so you don't run out of energy, which makes Rapid Strike Urshifu one of the more interesting V-Max Pokemon to play. Along with R single Rapid Strike Urshifu, two copies of the V, two copies of the V-Max, you'll also get uh, Remoraid and two copies of Octillery, which is a great Rapid Strike engine card where its ability Rapid Strike Search lets you take any card labeled as Rapid Strike, as you can see in the top right corner of the card. Any card with the Rapid Strike tag on it can be pulled from your deck straight into your hand, which you can use to grab Rapid Strike Energy, you could use it to grab Fan of Waves, which is a great card for discarding special... Oh, sorry. Grabbing discard at... Or taking energy from an active, special energy from an active, and putting it on the bottom of their deck. Uh, Karina's Focus to help you draw up to six cards. Or uh, Tower of Waters, which reduces retreat cost by two for Rapid Strike Pokemon, giving your Urshifu the ability to move in and out of the active pretty easily. Couple of other Pokemon you will get as well. Uh, Chinchino is normally not played with Rapid Strike Urshifu, but it does act as a draw engine with its ability Make Do. Lets you discard one card to draw two more from the deck, or like to, to flip the next two cards. And generally speaking, Chinchino is a very good card to have in most other decks. Once you upgrade the Urshifu specifically, you probably won't keep this in the Urshifu deck but you will use this in a bunch of other places. So that's a great get. Galarian Zigzagoon, you're getting one copy when you play it on the field. Does 10 damage to any Pokemon you want. Nice for squeezing out that extra little bit of damage to knock something out. Um, also, uh, you can use these in a lot of decks use Galarian Zigzagoon. And now that Galarian Obstagoon is picking up uh, popularity, you can use this to start building that deck as well. And, and the weak link here, League Battle decks are generally built to be pretty solid, but they're they're not perfect. And the weak link here would be Phalanx, where it's you know, 110 health and for two energy, does 20 damage times the number of Rapid Strike Pokemon in play. Yeah, with the Chinchinos in play, you're probably going to get you know 80 to 60 to 80 damage most of the time. It, it's not the best, but it's here and you can work around that. 
You're also getting a whole host of really solid trainer cards. We've talked about the Rapid Strike cards already. They're going to be staples in most of your Rapid Strike decks. But you're also getting Evolution Incense to evolve up to Octillery or Rapid Strike or Shifu Max Level Balls to get the Minchinos, Chinchinos, and Remoraids out on the field. Ordinary Rod is a particularly important card in this version of the League Battle deck to fish out any Pokemon or energy that you lost along the way. You can't get Rapid Strike energy, unfortunately, but you can get Urshifu's back because this deck only comes with a 2-2 line of Urshifu V and VMAX. Palpad to grab two supporters back from the discard. You've got Quick Balls, of course, to grab any basic Pokemon and you discard a card to use it. Scoop Up Net to scoop up any Pokemon off the board completely that aren't V or VMAX. Uh, switches, just in case you don't have the, the tower out, you can use it to switch your active with a bench Pokemon. Tool Scrapper, of course, scrap, scrap up to two tools from yourself or your opponent. Of course, good old Boss's Orders, one of the most powerful cards in the game, lets you take a bench Pokemon, an opponent's bench Pokemon, and put them in the active. Cheryl's an interesting choice here. This is a card that's picked up a lot of popularity this year where it lets you heal all your evolution Pokemon, but any that are affected by this have to discard their energy. But in Rapid Strike Urshifu's case, after you've done G-Max One Blow or G-Max Rapid Flow, it won't be holding any energy anyway. So you can use this to fully heal and then attack again. And then, yeah, a couple of staples as well. Marnie, Professor's Research, and an interesting addition here, Stone Energy where you attach it and you actually take 20 less damage for each stone energy attached. You probably won't use this for the upgraded version of the deck, which we'll talk about later, but it's a nice to have here to make your Urshifu's live a little longer and, and for basic fighting energy. All right, let's go take to the battlefield and see how we do. Top tier decks. So when I am playing these matches I'm playing against everyone's best decks and the league battle decks are very good but they are not like the best they can possibly be which does put me in a bit of a pickle every now and then kind of like right now not getting an Urshifu not getting any energy uh, kind of a bad start <laughs> we do have the Minchino and the Remoraid here which is okay but not having Urshifu out or an energy is a problem. Oh, and we got hit with Path to the Peak. I don't think this deck, no, this deck doesn't really get hit by Path to the Peak. Because this is only affects rule box Pokemon, which we don't have. Ooh, we got a Marnie, which is great. I'm going to, let's get rid of the escape rope. And we'll go Rapid Strike Urshifu. We're going to lose this one. Hopefully we can grab a, um, uh, do we actually... We might want to leave Urshifu in the back for now. And I'll explain why in a sec. Ooh, do we actually want to use Phalanx to fight? Probably not. Okay, we'll go with this. And do we want the second Urshifu out? Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's get the... The second one out here just in case and uh, good morning Jared how you doing today as we got a couple options here we can evolve straight into the oh we got fan of waves oh this is why that card's really good lose an attachment does slow us down a little bit which may make us change our our plans here a bit Ooh, a jolty on deck is the stream upgrade broken uh-oh what happened what happened oh why is okay hold on um i'm gonna have to fix that after this match yeah my my leorn board is broken sorry about that yeah all of it's broken right now but thank you for flagging that so let me um reject that do I have? No, I do not. Sorry. I mean, my mind just went. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Th thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry, I don't have any codes. So we're in a little bit of a pickle here. We've got Jolteon already rolling, and unfortunately, the choice to not have 
Urshifu, yeah, they're going straight for the Octillery. And that's probably... Hmm. Okay. I think this does color how we move this here a bit. We're going to go with the... Oh, actually, it probably would have been better to go with the Octillery here. But we'll discard this. Flip two, see what happens. We do get the Rapid Strike Energy, which is going to be helpful for next time. But I'm also going to throw down a second Remoraid just in case this one gets blown out. So Jolteon is one... Oh, sorry, JF Raptor. I the the the, the whole system is broken right now. I will have to fix that after this game. So yeah, please don't use your channel points at the moment. Here, let me see if I can fix that. Actually. Here, copy URL. Okay. It should should work shortly. Sorry about that. Also, yeah, this is looking real bad. We're probably going to get fried here. And, oh, also, I need to change my settings. Sorry. Oh, man. Apply. There we go. Close. Oh, really? You don't get to see the, the bottom of the cards here? I didn't realize that. Okay. Bang. Yeah, dead. Okay. We are in a really bad spot here. And I guess there's two ways of going about this. If I can get... Because if I move this one up, I'm only going to hit for... Thir Let's see. I guess if, if I can find a way to switch... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, not entirely the worst fate, but still not great. We can hit the G-Max, and do we want to take out... Yeah, let's take this out. And we do get one... Oh, okay, we got a Rapid Strike Energy. Great. So this isn't entirely the worst, because we can probably get a knockout on... Oh, no. Damn. And of course, because they've got the elemental badge, they're only going to need one to attack again. So this Octillery is done. Ugh. This is looking real bleak, guys. <laughs> oh! They're hiding. Why? Why? Oh. Okay, I see what they're doing. Yeah, they did that so they can reset their options, which is very nice for them. I am in a bit of a pickle here because the Chanchino's dead or the Remoraid's dead either way. Um, okay. Unfortunately, at best, we're going to do like 30 here. I, I don't think this match is going to work out. I really don't think it's going to work out. But we'll play it out a little longer to see how it goes. I think that us getting zapped early did hurt. I do think that because of type advantage, Jolteon is weak to fighting. That the League Battle version of this deck would have a chance. But it is tough. Jolteon is like a top three deck in the game right now. And uh, you can, we can see why. Just the ability to zap the bench as well. It's just very hard to deal with. Oh, and we're going to get bossed up. Awesome. They're probably going to boss up the... Oh, no, we're getting Marnied instead. All right, well, that might be good for us because we do need a fresh hand. Or they, they're going to get what they're looking for and we get obliterated and that would stink. <laughs> What's the play? Because we lost. We can get another Remor Raid and try and get that set up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no. They still don't have. 
Okay, so there's two two ways of going about this. Actually, because I can attach the rapid strike energy now to this and hit for. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna yolo it. I'm gonna try and play for rapid flow here. Okay. This is kind of what I wanted. Because then we can do this. And we can leave this out there. And instead, I'm going to bomb on... We'll take that out completely and we'll hit this VMAX. And we're still going to force them to, to switch out. And we get a Chinchino. Great. I think the if we can make the All right, so Jolteon's going to come back in. What I'm really hoping for here if I can get a switch or a I don't think this this deck has balloons. Um we did lose that. That sucks. That sucks. We I think we still have a chance. If I'm going to play for the gift, if I can get this into the active and land that punch, we can knock this out. If we don't hit it, we lose. But I think that we're, we're kind of in scary hours here. So we have to try. Because otherwise, if I attach here for 60, it's not going to be enough. And I'd, I'd rather try and play for the win here rather than play to not lose sort of deal. Okay, this is exactly why we do this. Check this out. Check this out. And we... And do we want a Zigzagoon just in case? No, I don't think there's anything specifically to Zigzagoon. So hold on to that. Swing. Gale Thrust, bang. And now, we're in a really good spot. Oh my goodness. Because they're probably... I don't think they can... Oh, we're going to get bossed up. Fine. That's fine. That's actually, I think this is done. I think this is done. <laughs> you know, they're going to fry. They can't KO that other Urshifu. They could KO, in theory, if they get some damage on the Chinchino, get two knockouts there. They're still one short. And yeah, this is done. GG's! Got him! Oh, that G-Max, that Gale Thrust <laughs> saved us. You had to play for it. But yeah, there it is. League Battle Deck taking out Jolteon V-Max. And yes, the, the Urshifu does have type advantage on it, but that was looking pretty rough there. And we were able to turn that around, and the opponent knew it was done, so they conceded early. So GG's. All right. So you've got the, the League Battle Deck, the Rapid Strike Urshifu League Battle Deck, and you want to upgrade it. This is my personal favorite way to upgrade the deck, and this deck concept was actually popularized by former world champion Tord Reklev, one of, if not the best Pokemon TCG player that, that's ever lived, uh, based on, on my research and watching him play. And this is his favorite deck. I've, there's a minor tweak here, but generally his favorite way to play. And... Relative to the League Battle deck, we've thickened the Rapid Strike Urshifu counts. So we've got four of the Urshifu V and three of the Urshifu V Max. We've got a Passimian in here. I personally don't use this card that much, but it is handy in the sense that you can use the Throwing co Coach ability to do more damage on Pokemon Vs on the bench. You can snipe with this. Um, without having to get you know the extra energy on top of that we've got one crowbat here to help with drawing cards we do octillery remoraid is here we took out one remoraid we did also add basculin just the one of 
and it has a really cool ability swarm really cool move swarm the wound does 30 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter so if you've already landed a g max uh, rapid flow you could come in with basculin attach a rapid strike energy and finish them off basically while keeping your urshifu v max safe and then we've also added the Inteleon line here, of course, your Sobbles, your Drizziles, the Shady Dealings Drizzile, and the we added both the Rapid Strike Inteleon with Quick Shooting to ping 20 damage on the bench, and then also a in Shady Dealings Inteleon that lets you grab two trainer cards from your deck. Really helps you get consistent here. Uh, some other techs in here, we've got the Capacious Bucket, helps you draw two Water Energy, Echoing Horn to actually put a basic Pokemon that's in the discard pile, your opponent's discard pile, put it back on the bench. So that way you've got an easy target for Urshifu to snipe once your Rapid Flow is ready to go. Uh, we've got a couple more Escape Ropes, Evolution Intense, Level Balls, uh, the Scoop Up Net, Marnie, and the big tech here is Melanie. And what this allows you to do, attach a Water Energy from the discard to one of your Pokemon V, and draw three cards and so what happens here is that you use g max rapid flow hit your two for 120 each and then on your next turn you use octillery to call up a rapid strike energy and you use melanie to attach the water and then you can rapid flow again and you can use the shady dealings here to make sure you've got a melanie in hand and you just hit again and again and again and it's awesome one of my favorite decks to play let's check it out Rapid Strike Urshifu, though, one of my, my favorites of you know, any card to play in this game. Just being having the options of hitting fairly hard in the active or sniping anywhere you want on the bench. Very strong. We don't have any energy here, <laughs> which is bad. Okay. Uh, oh, we're, we're playing the wrong version of the deck. We're playing the wrong version of the deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scrap that. Uh, throw this. I mean, I guess I could have played it. I don't want to waste any time. Though, because we're trying to cover like three different decks here. Let's try that again. <laughs> For everybody with the holidays coming up, what do you have planned? You're going to see family. You're going on vacation somewhere. Ooh, lost the flip. There we go. We can make this work. We can make this work. We go here. And. Ooh, Ice Rider is going to be uh, pretty bad. This is a really bad Ice Rider going first. We can almost guarantee that it's going to stab whatever is in the active for 250. And we, I, I don't want that smoke. Otherwise, this game is already done. At a certain point, we will cover this Ice Rider deck. I do have it built. And it's another one of my favorites to play. So, and at this point, the, the Ice Rider cards are actually, they're, they're cheaper to trade for than they have been in the past. Like, these used to be... You know, the V Maxes used to be eight to ten cards to trade for, and now it's fallen a little bit because it's not as popular, but they're still really good. Okay, we're going to want a a Remoraid here for sure. And I guess do we commit to a second? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's go with the Sobble here. And we're going all out because I want the Crobat here and give me a switch or something. Ooh, yikes. This is bad. Like really, really, really bad. If we get stabbed right here, it's game over. And there's a pretty high chance. All they need is one more energy and one evolution. And they can even just have a Drizzile and then we get stabbed and it's over. I'm not going to be able to accelerate fast enough. Actually. Actually. 
it's gonna suck, but I think we can make. Uh... Okay, we'll play it out. We'll let. We'll let. Um. Oh. Oh, they're going with Suicune right now. Why didn't you just? They gotta have the evolution, right? Okay, now they're gonna go and dial up the evolution. So we're not completely out of it, but it's really bad. <laughs> oh, they're going for the Mel- Are they going for the Melanie here instead and hoping they draw into the- Yeah, okay, maybe they had it the whole time. I was just wondering, like, why didn't you just go Ice Rider early? We tried. <laughs> oh! Why didn't you go for the kill there? I guess they didn't want to get rid of the energy. They might regret that. Okay. I, that's that's not what I thought was going to happen. But let's see how we we shake out of this now. So I do want an Octillery. Let's grab that now. And I do want... I, do I want the Capacious Bucket now? I know I want Rapid Strike Urshifu here. And I know that Rapid Strike Urshifu is probably... I guess there's a couple ways to play. Oh, wait. Ooh, I messed that up, actually. Like, really bad. Um. Yeah. Let's get a quick ball. Yeah, I done goofed. I, I done goofed. Because I now don't have... A way to get rapid strike energy here. I should have used that to get the rapid strike energy, and then I may have completely missed sequence this, and now I have to fix it. And I don't know if I can fix it. <laughs> TBH. But the the other way we can go about this is we go here. I could professor's research to try and yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff here. This is a massive gamble, but I think this is the only gamble I can make in light of me having screwed this up. We do get the Rapid Strike energy. Great. And we do get a Melanie, so... Uh, do I try and get the... Okay. We're going to go like this. We're going to hit... I want one of these out. And let's go and hit the Suicune. Okay, so we're going to get stabbed for for 250. That that's a, a harsh reality of this whole thing. And is this going to die? I think so. Yeah, it's going to do like 380. But they lose all that energy, right? Not good. But <laughs> we're 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 not we're not completely screwed, and I'll show you why. We go here. We use this evolution, and we get. Oh, we only have one more Urshifu V Max. All right, we evolve up here. We use Melanie to attach. We get three more cards. We get another Melanie, which is amazing, BT dubs. And we can go... Oh, both of these are ready to rock? That's amazing. That's incredible, actually. Okay. What we can do here is if we get that telescopic sight, and if we can get... You know, do we want one more Melanie just in case? Yeah. Grab both of them now. And 120, 240. This is going to hit for 30 more damage. Yeah. Here. Ooh, do I? What do I hit here? Maybe this. Mm, 
because I don't want to give you any more outs. That's the problem. Okay, we're going to go with the Drizzle to minimize their, their outs. And let's go with Rapid Strike Search. And I'll grab another Urshifu here, ready to rock. I don't plan on doing anything with it right now, but maybe next turn. And then we Rapid Flow, we take out the Suicune, we take out the Drizzle, and now... They're in a bit of a pickle here. They're in a very big pickle here. <laughs> oh, snap! They might get a Melanie here. They may stab for another 250. It still may not matter. And now we just have to... What's the prize map here? Oh, I got it. This is done. This, assuming we don't... Okay, yeah, sure. They can boss up. It doesn't matter. Let me show you why. Um, so they're, they're going to look very carefully. I think they put the Drizzile out. Or the Sobble. Because I can one-hit KO this. Or let's see if they figured out. But either way, I can get, yep, yeah, Melanie. And we do this. Hold on. I, I don't think they know that they're screwed yet. We Melanie here, attach the water. We put the rapid strike energy on. And we echoing horn back another Sobble. And then we make it rain. One, two, done. G. Jeez. That was nasty. <laughs> Woo! That that's why I love this deck. If you're able to the chain together though those G-Max rapid flows and it kind of didn't matter what was on the active. Like the the Ice Rider sure can hit for 250, but then it it also needs to chain together those Melanies, which it can. But we were a they kind of gambled on Suicune as that sort of backup attacker because they thought I was going to attack the Ice Rider, and I just didn't. And I went after the Suicune and everything on the bench instead, which ended up being the right move. And we got him. All right. So we're, we're talking about the Urshifu League Battle deck. And, you know, out of the box, it's a, it's a pretty solid starter deck. You can upgrade it to be, like, the, the best pure Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. But right now in the current meta, Mew and Psychic Pokemon are running wild. And most versions of the Urshifu deck don't really fare well against pretty much any Psychic deck because of how their damage output just isn't really there to catch up. So I've got a version of the deck that works a lot better against Psychic Pokemon, Mew in particular. And the reason why it works is on top of Urshifu VMAX being pretty strong against anything other than Psychic Pokemon, thanks to Gale Thrust potentially hitting for 150 and Rapid Flow hitting for 120 to 2 Pokemon, we've also added Galarian Moltres V. And there are a couple of reasons why we've got this in here. For one, it's a dark type Pokemon. It's going to do double damage against any Psychic Pokemon, including Mew V and VMAX. It's also got the ability Dire Flame Wings to um, to take a, a energy, dark energy from the discard pile, put it onto Moltres itself. And besides charging itself up faster, you can combine this with Energy Switch to then move that energy back to Urshifu to kind of act as an engine to hit multiple uh, G-Max Rapid Flows. So it kind of serves multiple purposes in this deck. We've also got two Crobats to help with the drawing power. And then the engine here, instead of the, the Inteleon line, I've got one Krikatune here, which helps you draw cards up to three. And then Galarian Articuno V, which is uh, you discard two cards and then you draw one card from the deck. 
And the reason I like this version better than the Intellion line one, at least with the Moltres, is that oftentimes in those versions, they take out the Octillery, so you can't get the Rapid Strike energy consistently enough, I find. So I like having the Krikatoon and the Articuno to draw through the deck faster. And when you combine this with Rotom Phone, which lets you put a card from your top five to the top spot, you just have a much better chance of drawing the Rapid Strike energy. And then on top of that, you kind of have your usual assortment of tools, your Escape Ropes, Great Balls, Quick Balls, uh, boss's orders, Marnie, professor's research. We also have adventurer's discovery, which lets you grab three Pokemon V and then put them into your hand. So this is a great way of grabbing, you know, pretty much any of these cards, three of these when you need them. Now we've also got a assortment of you know, rapid strike energy, as many as we can carry. I've got six dark energy here so that we can have up to two Moltresses ready to rock and then one fighting energy just in case. And again, I'm playing the version that doesn't have the Inteleon line. I'm playing the version that has the Krikatoon and the... The Krikatoon and the, the Articuno, which I personally prefer. I tried the other one that everyone, like all the YouTubers, have made a version that has the like it doesn't have that stuff and i just found it to be like really hard to play and oh, am i gonna burn both of my boss's orders right now uh i don't know okay we'll burn one to try and get yes yes okay we stand We might still be in trouble here. Leafeon is, unfortunately for us, very strong, and it's pretty self-sufficient. It's going to get to VMAX, and it's going to hit for a lot. And I think it can do, what, 240? Yeah, if it's got the Galar Mine and everything, it can hit for 240. So how? what's the, the, the game plan here? I know we're going to evolve this. We can maybe start to set up a second Urshi. And I do want to use Adventure's Discovery here to get like a Crobat down. And probably a Crobat, another... Another Urshifu and something else. Probably the Krikatoon then. Get that engine going. Unfortunately, we're not going to get... Oh. Hmm... I, I guess. Yeah, we'll stick with this. So we'll go Urshifu, Krikatoon, Crobat. Boom. Boom. Uh, do I want to put a balloon on this Urshifu right now? Maybe. Maybe. And then we get to draw an extra card here. And then set this one up for a Gale Thrust later. Okay. Here. This is... This is interesting. I can go... Do I want to burn? No, I don't have to burn anything right now. But we will take out... It. We'll hit this, and we'll take that out. And we will cut off its support options there. I don't want you to draw into anything easy. Moltres would be nice right here. That would be nice. I guess the other gamble we can play for is if we can get another Urshifu VMAX here and then just punch this for 150, that would be great. I don't know if it's worth playing for it, though. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Okay, we're going to get Marty and lose it anyway. So we can throw that plan out the window and let's figure it out. So, Muta, if you're still here, what were you streaming? Alright, we're giving ourselves a little bit of a better shot. At least we're, we're only eating the 170 here. Uh, we'll definitely take the Tool Scrapper out. And let's go Rotom. And we can get a... None of these are, are great. I mean, we will... Yeah, we'll take the Urshi up here, and then we'll put this there. 
Uh, we can draw up. And then we switch out. And then regardless, we're going to get... Well, if we can get a Rapid Strike energy here, which we don't. Of course we don't. Um, here, Rotom. Uh, here. Actually... Mm, I really want a Moltres on this board, but I can get the 150 right now. YOLO. This is so irresponsible. <laughs> the way I'm playing this right now. And the quick ball. And draw one extra thing. And it's an energy search. Okay. I'll take the 150 here. I don't think there's any world where they can take us out completely. They can hit for 170, heal 30. And... Hmm. Is it better to rapid flow here? I don't know. Not having the Moltres does hurt us pretty bad, though. Let's see how else we can take this out. Uh-oh. Ruh roll. I will say this is like if if you're comparing if you like want to play an Urshifu deck and you're 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 horrified of the Mew matchup because you know both Urshifus are weak to fighting and you really want to have that counter if you if you want the best possible matchup you will probably want single strike Urshifu over the oh no. Okay, so 210. Um, is there? Oh no, okay, okay. This is not, not necessarily the end of the world. Um, 432, and then we hit the Crobat. I think that's how we got to do it. And we need to set up a Moltres here, like right now. And I don't know if we... Because I guess there's two ways to play this. All right. Depends on what we flip here. If we can get a Rapid Strike energy, no, we cannot. No, we cannot. Oh, okay. We'll at least have the Professor's Research here. And we'll Dire Flame Wings. And... I'm going to... YOLO it. Okay. This is not the worst fate. Mm, I do want to keep the energy switch. We can burn the tower. Ooh, actually burn the balloon. And then go. Uh, we need to map this out. Okay. Because they're probably going to bring... They're going to bring this one in. So here, that's it. That's the line. One, two, three. And if I've mapped this out right, they can hit. They can't, they can't knock out Urshifu. They can't knock out Urshifu. Um, I can knock out Leafeon, though. And this is where the Moltres comes in handy. Now, we have to pray, pray to Arceus, Lord Arceus, our Pokemon, who art in the, the other world. Uh, hallowed be thy nickname that I, I gave you. That, okay, no, we're going to stop there. <laughs> uh, as long as we don't get Marnied, we win. And the way that works, we put the tower up, we move this out, we Dire Flame Wings to get the second attachment, we put this on for the third. We hit this for 190, and it's over.
of course, it's going to require them to not That sucked really bad that they did that, but it actually doesn't matter because we still win. Check this out. Dire Flame Wings. It put this energy here. We retreat. We go here. And we Aura Burn. 190. GG's. And there it is. Even against non-psychic decks, this engine still works. It is a little wonky, I will say that. It is a little odd in having the extra Pokemon, the Articuno discarding cards, and the the um, the Krikatoon drawing up cards, and then the Ro Rotom phones. But I much prefer it as a way to get the get the Rapid Strike energy versus you know other versions of the deck that I've seen online that. You're just kind of waiting for a chance for that Rapid Strike energy to show up. And in this particular scenario, even when it didn't show up, the fact that we were able to get Moltres online did allow us to get that extra punching power we needed to finish off that fight. So uh, there it is.